from a rather chilly beer room. It's, uh, well, it says it's eight degrees, but I think the uh, thermostat's wrong. So tonight, reviewing from Magpie Brewery based in Nottingham. Uh, relaxed, don't do it. Uh, it's an APA, it's 4.3%, and it says on the back, let me, uh, God, the writing. Relax, take a moment, drink a beer, bless you. Let's support each other, be kind, buy local, good evening. Buy local, independent and ethical, pale golden ale with tropical and citrus flavours, good evening. Uh, Wonderlust series beer, there's Adventure Brewing, brewed on a green energy power kit. Yeah, God knows what's up with the collections. Good evening. Yeah. I never know with YouTube, you know. Every time I go on YouTube, it's it's, it's different. Um, good evening as well. Cheers. Fine, thank you very much. And good evening as well. So, first beer of the night, or actually the fourth. <laughs> so, I did a review when I got home. I did a, a, a wine review. I've done a spirit review, and I'm not pissed. Bless you. And now on to this. It's Thursday, isn't it? Fourth. <laughs> Band of this, it'll be six reviews. Jobs are good and whoa, get in. Yeah, unusual. I was thirsty today, to be honest. I've been burning uh, rubbish all day long, so I was ready. Good evening. So. Yeah, these, these brew their beer on a green energy powered brew kit. I'm not quite sure what that is. But um, a good brewery based in Nottingham, next door to uh, Notts County's football ground. Cloudwater Pale Ale, 3.7%, bless you. Nice and sessionable. This is 4.3%, an American Pale Ale. I know. <laughs> I'd hate to... Uh, yeah, the spirit one's coming later. <laughs> it was only miniature, so, you know. It's one of them. Quick job is, get it out of the way. Job's good. So, Amber Poor with the um, Adventure Beer Company glass. Little white head. Very, very, very faint uh, carbonation going off. <sighs> all I can smell is burning. So I've been burning all day and all I can smell on my hands is the smell of burning and on my clothes. Well, that's better. I can actually smell it now. Oh, I, I can smell a hint of citrus. Did it say citrus? Yeah, it says tropical and citrus. That's all right then. It's usually one or the other, isn't it? So, happy Thursday, everyone. Oh, thank God it's Thursday, eh? It's going to kill me going back to a five-day week. Ah, well, the other two, the other two reviews I just did uh, unlisted. It's a nice hat, isn't it? Maggie's tap room. Jobs are good. And... Oh, let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, nice twangy beer, that's for sure. All my weeks seem the same at the moment. Do four days, and then it's Thursday night, and then I'm off Friday. And I presume, not that I know, but I presume this furlough thing, this one-day furlough, will carry on till June. You know, until it actually opens permanently. Um, wow, well, what are you doing tomorrow? I've actually got no gardens tomorrow as well, so I'm actually at home. Although we've got the little one, so it's never easy. Fuck it. The amount of times he calls Alexa, 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 and it's like, oh God. I may end up turning it off, but I'll just work. So do you work from home then? Good twangy beer. I get more citrus than I do tropical, but yeah, good twangy little offering. These are the fellas that I had the four Imperial Stouts off at Christmas. Relax is one of their new beers. Uh, Rome is, they've got one called Rome, and I've got that one as well. 
and they do a mixed box. So, you know, if you if you go on magpiebrewery.com, I think it is. Ooh. You don't want to be going into the office on Friday afternoon, do you? I mean, that's... Uh, God, get this off my head. That's better. I'm warming up now. Good evening. So, nice 4.3% offering. An American Pale Ale. Amber on the pour. Little white head. Very faint lace, uh, car carbonation. Um, citrus on the nose. Um, citrus on the top and tropical on the taste. Ooh. If there's one thing I hate above everything is being late on a Friday afternoon. You know, it's that thing where I've worked all week. I want to go home at a normal time. And I absolutely hate being late on a Friday. Don't mind being late any other day. But not Friday. Although these days, I'm not even in on a Friday. Oh, you're not on a you're not you're not at work on a Friday, then, or you work a bit longer to go off half time. Well, I used to do that, do a, a longer week, and then good evening. A draft sour beer. 6.5. Oh, I didn't actually get their sour beers this time. Um, left handed, left handed giant dark mild. Good evening. No, I've not had the left handed one before. No, yeah, I don't blame it. I used to do the same at work when I was allowed to at my old job. I used to go in early and Make sure that I finish at dinner time on a Friday just to get out of it, you know. Um, I mean, now I'm not even working Friday, so I'm getting paid for it, not working it. Furlough, you know, furlough's not all been bad. You know, COVID has not all been bad. Bad for some people, obviously. So, a good starter ale. <clears throat> and if I hadn't have already done three reviews, it would be a cracking starter ale. 6 a.m. in the morning. So, you're on a night shift then tonight. I've done night shifts. They are, yeah, they're all right, but getting to sleep. Oh, God. After a night shift. Yeah, I've done night shifts at Sainsbury's. I actually preferred it in the end because you didn't see customers. You didn't have the tannoy. Can everyone support the checkouts? It's like, yeah, <laughs> I'll fucking support the checkouts. <clears throat> then you go down the checkouts, there's four supervisors there just walking around doing that. And you think to yourself, get your fucking arse on the till. Don't be shouting me when I'm working. Get your backsides on them tills. <clears throat> One does apologise for profanity, you know. It's, it's, it's not needed at this time. Yes, I do apologise. From the bottom of my heart. Yeah, no gaffers. I don't like people telling me what to do. I missed that. Last comment just then. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Good evening. Oh, bless you. This is why I don't buy multiples of beer anymore. I can't be done with it. Because if I buy a 10 pack, I mean, I've got some of that Aldi stuff and uh, I'll probably save it for a barbecue in the summer and then give it to my mate. <laughs> See, uh, it's some Aldi beer. Get out of you. Yeah. I'll go, I'll go and get a real ale from the shed. <clears throat> but hey, uh, you know. Best place, yeah. See, I wasn't trained on the checkouts until my very last few months of the job. Good evening. Ah, yeah, presents. Yeah, it's killer, isn't it? I was trying to offload out of, if I can. £2.60 each. That's not a bad price for Tesco's. So they was all in at your Tesco's then? Because if I go to mine, I, I might go on Saturday and see if they're in. I'm not, I'm not, too, not too fussed beforehand. I've actually got some pennies as well this week, so I, I can actually splurge. Yeah, the, you do get the odd wanker. 
you must have done, yeah. Not supposed to be out till March the 8th. Yeah, I mean, with supermarkets, we used to get a code one. A code one was everybody, no matter what you're doing, everybody crowds to that area. Obviously, when there's masses of people, the dickheads are going to think, whoa, there's 20 people here. I mean, I've gone outside before. You've got this, this shop security bloke, grabbed hold of this lad. They're on the floor outside wrestling. I got my knee in the back of the lad. Bent his arm around. He was going nowhere then. And, uh, you know, it diffused the situation quite quickly. God knows what he'd need, but, you know. But be working on the public park for 20 years, you know, a bit of aggro. You're always up for a bit of aggro. I mean, I'm only a little bloke, only five foot seven. Not five foot, supposed to be five foot eight, but I think I've shrunk. But, uh, you know, you're on a public park for 20 years. You don't mind a bit of aggro, you know. Going up, telling people to pack in playing football, you know. Although I did draw the line when there was a topless sunbather. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's a top, two student girls being topless and someone complained and we had to go up and tell them off. But we went up and uh, we didn't tell them off. Fuck it. Yeah, five years at Sainsbury's. Got some good mates though, some really good people. And the BWS department was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Keep off the neck. We don't want none of that fucking shite in the, from America. No, not many managers do. Um, in all my years on the city council, only two managers were pure grafters. You know, if you were doing work, they would tell you to do the job and they'd jump in with you. But that's the way I would be. You know, it'd be like... Yeah, he's got to do the job, but I'll jump in. We'll get it done. Break the back of it. Because with any job, it's all about breaking the back of a job. Especially if it's a manual job. Oh, Yeah, code one. Get to the bloody pubs. I'm hoping to get to the pub come the uh, April the 12th. But then again, we're also on about going to a theme park. But as soon as Alton Towers get the tickets... Get to Alton Towers, get on some rides, you know. Get back on Wicker Man, Nemesis, have a good day of it. And now my lad's tall enough. Ragster. That's actually my um, website, webmaster name, you know, Ragster of dcemu.co.uk. 20 years now, yeah, fucking hell. Been a long time. I've just I've just updated it again, the website. That's good as well because what you find is a lot of people who come from universities have got the qualifications, but they've got no experience, no know-how. We've had it in in gardening where we get this idiot. He comes in. Oh, um, I'm the new area, the, the boss for the northern area. I thought, oh yeah. And uh, it comes straight from university, knew nothing. And uh, years later, in my, in my Rushcliffe job, he came in and he, and he was the boss there. And I looked at him, I thought, you ring a bell. And uh, he was there a month or so. And I still knew more than him. And uh, he was a prick. And uh, basically he left. <laughs> well, he got sacked. It's the fact that I don't want to be a manager because I don't want all that shit. I could do the job, but no, don't want it. So yeah, lovely drinking. Um, now it's that time to settle. Nice twang to it. No, having a brain, you know, being nice to people, you get more out of people by being nice to them. I've got a friend who's a manager at Audi. He was at Sainsbury's. He was a supervisor. And he left Sainsbury's. He's gone to Audi. And he's a cracking lad. Young lad. Only in his 20s. Cracking lad. He works as hard as you can get. Yeah, yeah. And this is the reason. I've got enough anxiety and stress myself. And I worry about stupid things, you know. And... Uh, 
worrying if you've upset someone by saying the wrong thing and little things like that, you know. Little things can... And that's why I don't do anything like that now. You know, I'm not interested, I'm not going down that road. I'll manage myself best way. And uh, I'm not in it for the money. You know, I'm in it just for the, for the, for the, you know, just to get the bills paid. That's all I need. I don't need the stress of the, you know, having to deal with people and all the other thing. Plus, working on my own, I can do, a, in six hours, I can do eight hours work. I know that when I look at other people. So as long as I'm clever at what I'm doing, although to be fair, I just work all bloody day in these days. Um, I don't see anybody, so I don't see anybody. So I just work, work, work. There's no one to see. Apart from the budget, and apart from... Um, Apart from robins and bloody starlings and crow, um, not cr yeah, crows and blackbirds, that's all I see at work. You can't have much of a conversation. It's like that fire, it's getting on my tits. <coughs> Pardon my French. So. No, it's me gas fire. I turn it off, then turn it back on and it burns a bit more gas. I reckon I've got a dodgy bottle. Yeah, I know, it's going to get turned off in a sec. As soon as this review ends, it's getting turned off. I do apologise. So, yeah, from Magpie Brewery, based at... Does it say the address on the back? No, it doesn't say the address. How about that? Magpiebrewery.com These fellas do do a mixed box. 12, I think it's 12 different beers. And it's only about 20 odd quid, like 20, 23, 24 quid. Um, with, and then delivery on top, about a five of delivery on top. So, decent price. That's getting on my tits. Fucking noise. Oh dear. Fuck me. <coughs> Pardon my French. <clears throat> Slip of the tongue. I'm to lob the cunt out the window in a minute. <coughs> <laughs> Titinus, tinnitus. Yeah, you know, there's a bloke on the Arboretum and uh, he had tinnitus or whatever it was called. And uh, all of a sudden he just shout out. I don't know if that's tinnitus or something else. I need something. I've actually got a little radiator blowing me, blowing me legs as well. That's warming up now. So, in a minute when I turn that off, I do apologise. So, it was working fine a minute ago, fucking thing. <coughs> Pardon my French. Tourette's, that's it. So, this bloke, yeah, 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 not Tinnitus. Tourette's, so he's got Tourette's. And he's sat on the bench in the park on what we call the bottom garden. Good evening. Very well, thank you. And uh, all of a sudden, someone sat on the grass. Now, this bloke knows me, and we, good evening, and we usually tell people off to get off the grass, because they're not allowed on the grass in this certain area, and this bloke with Tourette's, he'd just turn around and say, get off the fucking grass, and, uh, pardon my French, and kids in the background, and, uh, and all of a sudden they're looking at him thinking, the bloke's a psycho, and I'm there, and, I, and I'm holding myself, because I can't, I can't say that to people, you know. You work there, you, you have to get a sack. And next minute, they get up and just walk off. And then they, all of a sudden, he's laughing his head off. And, you know, it's so, fuck, so funny. Stress-free is the way to go, definitely. Jambui, yeah, fantastic whiskey liqueur. One of my favourites. Brilliant. I got a bottle for seven quid once from Tourette's. That's it, yeah. That's how it's spelled. Um, yeah, I got a bottle from Sainsbury's for seven quid once. Didn't last long. Good evening. So, a lovely American pale ale. Um, I need to kill this review to start the next review. Three reviews on the bounce, eh? Jobs are good. Um, I'll be steaming come the last review. But, hey, you know, that's life, isn't it? No worries. Yeah, at the moment, I'm a bit... 
because of my daughter, anything, anything, I can't plan anything at the moment because if she's going to drop the baby, not actually drop the baby, but you know, have the baby anytime soon, I don't want to plan anything with anyone and jump on anybody's collaborations or whatever because I don't want to let people down and I hate letting people down. And I'm even worried about Sunday because my daughter could have a baby at any time. But yeah, a one-on-one -on -one collab review or even a collab sort of interview thing. I'm up for that. Uh, not that I'm really into interviews, but I like doing the interviews personally. But uh, that's just me. Uh, I used to do, I used to have an interview channel, funnily enough. Yeah, you love my fire. It's fucking great, isn't it? <clears throat> Artificial grass in the garden. If you haven't got trees in the vicinity of your garden, then it's okay. If you've got trees, think twice. Because artificial grass, you'll, you'll be blowing the grass, or sweeping the grass so much, it will do your nutting. If you've got leaves that blow in, I tell you, it does you. I had a friend on the Park Estate and, uh, in Nottingham, and he had artificial grass installed and he was so fed up because every time the leaves came down, he says, I spend more time sweeping this bloody lawn. And uh, he says, I wish I just had normal grass because you quickly go over with the mower, jobs are good. Him. So then he has to sweep the flipping grass. So just goes to show you. Yeah, I think, I think rather than a few reviewers, I'll do one at a time. Personally, who is his artificial grass? Yeah, I can understand. I've got some. I've got an area outside the beer room and the hot tub room, and then I've got an area on the front garden. I, I did have a bigger area, but the hot tub rooms took it up. Yeah, I mean, if your lawn is okay, stick to the lawn. I tell you, you'll hate it. It'll piss you off so much. And uh, it used to do my nutting. I used to come down to the bottom of the garden, sweeping the flipping grass. It's like, Jesus Christ. I put artificial grass down for it not to be like this. Good evening. So, I better kill this with you. Uh, amber pore, little white head, sporadic carbonation, um, citrus on the nose, citrus and tropical on the taste, little twang. Nice bit of bitterness in the back end. And uh, quite a nice beer. And very, very drinkable. So this is relax. Yeah, don't do it. 4.3% uh, magpiebrewery.com. They have a lot of good beers there. Um, including Imperial Stouts as well. Um, out of five, I reckon a good 4.3 out of five. Yeah, it was really nice. Very, very drinkable. And next to Knox County's ground is their um, brewery slash tap room. Um, oh, Knox County being the oldest club in the world. Although they aren't actually a league club at the moment. But uh, I don't want to slag off Knox County fans. Uh, I'm a Nottingham person. I don't slag off Nottingham. And uh, that's it for this review. Thank you for watching. See you in about two minutes and I'll get rid of that chuffing fire. Let's do my nutting as well. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, liking. Yeah, I think that's all. See you in a minute. Cheers. Fucking hell, let's do my bolting. <laughs>